Hello, my name is Fiona and today I'm going to show you how to make this crocheted picture frame. Um, yeah, you'll need, um, it's not a real frame. I've stapled mine on at the back but you could, you could glue it. Um, you basically need some cardboard to cut around because you, you cut the frame out of cardboard and then we, we crochet around um, the rectangle of or the square of cardboard um, but it's yeah it's pretty simple and it's it's fun nice to, to make some of these uh, it doesn't take an awful lot of wool or an awful lot of cardboard or an awful lot of anything um, and these would be nice wee decorations or, or gifts for people so I will show you how to make them okay so I've drawn um, oop, 11 by 11 centimeter square on my cardboard and I am just going to draw in from that a one centimeter border all the way around and then this will be cut out so we'll just be left with that one centimeter frame all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to cut all this out and the, the frame then I'm going to be left with is just this thin border around. Okay, so when that's all cut out, you are left with this piece, which is going to be your frame. Okay, to work double crochets around this. We put our hook under the frame and yarn over it to drop a loop and put a, a yarn over again and then draw off both loops on the hook so that is securing it to our frame. We'll just tighten that down on the corner. Okay, so let me show you again. You put your hook under and you yarn over from behind and pull up a loop and you yarn over again and you take off both loops on the hook. It's just a normal double crochet stitch. So under, yarn over from behind, pull up a loop, yarn over and take off both loops on the hook. And we work these, we work 36 of these around um, each side of the frame. Okay, so getting 36 in makes it quite tightly packed down the first edge. So we just turn it round then and start again our 36 into the next side and likewise all the way around. So we're just going under and getting a loop, picking up a loop and then putting the yarn over again and pulling both loops off the hook. So under, pick up a loop, over and take both loops off. When you finished your 36 on the, the last, the fourth side, then if you just slip knot into the first 
double crochet so you put your hook through yarn over and you pull through both um, and then we can these sort of move along so you can sort of spread them out um, so that they cover the frame evenly okay for row two the second part of the pattern we're going to chain five Okay, and you slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. So you don't count the loop on the hook, so it's one, two, three. In the third one, we do a slip stitch. So we put our hook through, we yarn over, and we pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. And now we do um, a half treble crochet in the next chain. So you yarn over. And you go into the next chain and you yarn over again, pull up three chains, or sorry, three loops on the hook, yarn over and take all three off at once. And then we're going to, so that was a half treble, now we're going to do a treble crochet into the next stitch. So you yarn over, you go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and take off two loops, yarn over again and take off the other two loops. So then we're going to miss five double crochets. So <clears throat> these are a bit hard to count as they're tight together. So one, two, three, four, five. So into the sixth one we're going to do a slip stitch so you put your hook through, yarn over, pull up a loop and then pull it through the loop on the hook and that gives us our first um, our first peak. So there's going to be seven of these along each side so they're all made in the same way. Five chains, one two, three, four, five. We slip stitch into the third one from the hook. Then we do our half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, and you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and take all three off and then do our treble crochet. So yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, so three loops on, yarn over and take two loops off, yarn over and take two more loops off. And then we miss five double crochets again, so one, two, three, four, five, and into the sixth one we do our slip stitch. And you just continue on. You should be able to fit um, in total seven of these in on this side. Sorry, that was my bad math. So there's six on each side, not seven, um, because each takes up you, you work into, you slip stitch into one and then you skip five, so you're, you're taking up six each time. Okay, so when you get to the corner, if we just um, slip stitch into the first um, double crochet and then we begin again. Our five chains, we slip stitch into the third one from the hook. We do a half treble crochet into the next chain and we do a full treble crochet into the next chain and then we skip five so one two three four five and in the sixth we slip stitch okay 
and that's us ready to begin again. So then when you do your your last um, peak then you just fasten off there after you've slip stitched it in and then all I have to do is fasten in my or uh, weave in my end so I'll get um, a darning needle and, and weave those in. So if you just uh, thread each uh, end through your yarn needle in turn and I'm just going to weave it in through the back just to secure it. This is just to stop um, your work unraveling. So we go back and forth um, tying it in in one direction. And then I normally like to just go back the opposite way and weave it through again. So you don't need to weave the whole thing in but just enough so you know that it's secure and it, um, it won't unravel easily then you can just cut it off okay I'm going to try and secure my picture to the frame just with staples those went in a bit more successfully than others but there we go that is the, the picture the finished article so now this can just be hung up on your wall and with the staples or whatever that'll allow you to change your picture instead of gluing it down but I mean it can be glued to the back if you prefer okay thank you for watching bye